Eye Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. Well, with everybody home for the next few weeks quarantined indoors, maybe uh, forcing you to cook at home here with a very simple kid-friendly recipe. It's Dish Passionate Cuisine's Colleen Hatton and we have helper Easton today. So thanks for letting us come hang out in your space today. Well, thanks for coming and we're glad to have you guys. Well, yes, and so lots of kids now home for the next couple of weeks and um, we it's are we're not eating out. <laughs> right, it's a great time to learn how to cook and spend some time in the kitchen. I mean, what else are you going to do? Exactly. So we have Easton over here who looks like he already knows what he's doing, kind of. He does. This is actually his recipe that he makes at home all the time. Okay, he Easton. He's an amazing demonstrator. What are we making? He's frozen, Colleen. He is making crescent breakfast casserole. Crescent breakfast casserole. Yep. Well, you know, Sage Fry, it's been a while since he's done this, right? We haven't done a Kids in the Kitchen segment in a while. We haven't, he's but, practice. Well, but he seems to have the roll down really quickly there. So we're just bit taking a can of crescent rolls and rolling them out like normal. So, yeah, we've got, this is actually, so this is a 9 by 13 recipe. And we've actually, this is the second pan. He's already done the first oh, one. Nice. I told him he's actually better at rolling these out than me. We've got a little kind of skinny ones, but he does better at rolling them up than I do, actually. <laughs> and, I always struggle with the crescent rolling. And very easy for kids to do, obviously and fast exactly fast easy and then you know a great way for them to learn some basic skills pretty much all he's used is that tiny little paring knife nice and the gloves keeping us sanitary here oh, yeah. okay we've got some other ingredients over here this is where I'm seeing the breakfast come in right so he's got this going he's gonna get his crescent rolls all lined up he is very particular we need eight on each side but it's oh. whatever works for you however you get them all in the pan um, and then we're gonna start we've got six eggs that we're gonna get into our bowl. Okay. And so this is actually, it could be for breakfast or breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner, yeah, exactly. So either way, and it comes together in 40 minutes. So it can be something that you make when you get home or in the morning. Okay, while you're cracking these eggs, since we are in your space, can we talk about this space and what you've got planned for um, the next couple weeks? That would be wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, um, event groups are canceled. Um, so we're kind of shifting our focus for the time being and we are actually doing curbside pickup and delivery. Nice, so anyone can just order online or call you or what's the best way for them to do that? So right now we've got some Facebook posts out um, and for the next day or two, we're gonna be doing it via email. Um, our amazing website designer is inundated at the moment because everybody's kind of switching their focus. Um, so what's on the website right now, she's actually gonna tweak it and we're gonna change, we've got a few changes in mind. We're gonna deliver from 11 to seven uh, Monday, seven days a week. So you can info, call, info at Dips Passionate Cuisine, call, whatever works for you, and we'll get you all set up nice. with curbside pickup or delivery. We're going to have menus that rotate each week. Oh, nice. Good to know. Okay. So we've got our eggs in here. We've got our crescent rolls all lined up. Good job, Easton. So now we're going to just whisk those up. I think you can handle that, right? Oh, yeah. Can you handle the whisking? Yeah. <laughs> now we can talk. Great. We've got some bacon over here, some cheese. So is this just going to get layered on there? So basically we're actually just going to mix everything together. He's whisking oh. those eggs and I'm going to add... Oh, I missed the milk. We're going to add a cup and a half of milk while he's whisking. Okay. And it goes. And he is a very good whisker at this. So then we're going to add a little salt and pepper. Good job. And he's gonna, we're going to let him get those eggs broke up. And then the great thing is, so what we did today is we baked the bacon. We made it. We baked it in the oven um, about 20 minutes on 350, so it's nice and crispy. He's actually going to be able to crumble it up with his hands. Um, but a great way, too, if you're microwaving it and it doesn't get quite as crispy, scissors is a great kitchen tip for kids to cut the bacon instead of trying to use a knife. Very good. Okay, and all of this is going to go into the yep. bowl onto the pan and we're gonna bake it up and we'll have the big reveal here coming up. Yeah, he's gonna start breaking up his bacon right now. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna keep Easton busy over here, stirring our uh, pot there for breakfast. And if you need any information about this recipe or those curbside delivery options that Dish Passionate Cuisine is providing, we'll hook you up at stayaliving.tv.